Today I want to talk about doing some basic maintenance on a Mitchell Match reel. The reel I've got is an old 440A dating from about 1980 or 81. It's got things wrong with it. The bail arm doesn't work properly. Uh, the reel doesn't go round. And it sticks. And I suspect what's wrong with it is there's a, a, a little lever that we can see through the hole on the bail arm plate is not in the right position and we need to get to that lever behind the baffle plate this is known as the baffle plate this metal plate here and to get to that is quite difficult in that we've got to take off the side plate we've then got to take out the central shaft of the reel which is where the spool normally sits we've taken the spool off for this then we can undo the nut that holds on the baffle plate take the baffle plate off and then I can get to that lever so it's fairly simple steps but that lever engages with some teeth on the end of this the bail arm the cantilever part on the the very last bit there's a cross-headed screw there and that part of the bail arm has got teeth and that lever has also got teeth on it and the two engage and I think it's about one tooth out. What happened with this reel is I took the bail arm off it, it was a good working one, and put it on a, another reel, an 840 match, because I knew the bail arm was good. And I took the bail arm off the 840 and put it back onto this reel. And I know it's it's not, it was done in a hurry done fairly quickly and as a result this reel doesn't work properly so I'm just going to take you through the steps to strip it right down to that point show you some other maintenance steps as well there's no way I will get this bail arm working there are, there is something wrong with it I don't know if it's slightly twisted or bent or under tension perhaps another day I'll see if I can get it to work I, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it that I can see, but it, it definitely needs some work to get it right. It might need bending slightly at some point. So that's it, We're ready to go now. Let's start taking this reel apart. Before we get started, we need some basic tools. We need a screwdriver. This has got about a four millimeter flat head and that's for taking the screws out of the side of the, the side plate there. That's very important. And it will also undo the bail arm screws on here. And that one there, that one should fit as well. And there's another screw inside behind the baffle plate. And there's a nut holding the baffle plate down. And for that I need a socket. And this is a 12 millimeter socket so it's 12 millimeter nuts it's taken it's actually on a I think it's a half inch socket set and this one's a this is a a ratchet one so quite easy to do and I've set it to undo I've got a couple of spare screwdrivers I've got a little tiny braddle these are just for they might be useful I don't know I've got some grease a tin of grease and an oil can this is a messy job I'm going to put some uh, gloves on because I'm going to be handling cameras and I don't want to get all the grease on the cameras but when it gets really fiddly I'll probably have to take these off first thing we need to do is to take off these three screws on the side plate you can see there and this is where it's very important to have the right size screwdriver use the best screwdriver you can get hold of make sure it's got a clean square end to it these screws are made of nickel plated brass they're quite soft and they will burr over so you need to undo those and this one they're fairly loose already I've got a 
a little old uh, jar lid here. Just going to put the screws in there so they do some. With the three screws off you can now lift off the entire ha handle assembly and the gears that are on it. Which is that piece there. And I'm just going to lay that down on there. And we've now got the insides of the gearbox there. And we need to pull out this central shaft at the front and that's attached that is attached to there and to, to free that get this little screwdriver and we see this gear in the middle and we just pop that off the shaft. This is the small cog with these three special teeth on the back that engages into the metal plate that hooks into the main shaft and so we put that somewhere safe and we then find this rectangular piece of metal here and at the bottom of that it's got a pin that goes into the shaft into this shaft so we just pop that off Plate's got these teeth. Plate's also got that pin on the back. And now the shaft comes out. Now this doesn't rotate properly, so what we can see is through the hole there. is that the lever is too close to the middle and it needs to come out a bit more and the only way we can do we need to take off the baffle plate to do that so we put on the You need the so put that down the baffle plate and the nut and you've now got this off here so you've got the two bits of the body and we've got the winding cup separate here now It's all pretty seized up. When we look inside there, when the bail arm is fully open, you can see this little lever is hitting the middle bit. It's hitting the middle. It should not be hitting the middle. It needs to come in a bit. And to do that, the teeth on the bit there need to be disengaged from the teeth on the bit of the bail arm, this cantilever part here. So to undo that, we've got to undo both screws on the bail arm, not too much. That one a bit and this one a bit. But not so much that it comes out completely and we can then when we pull that out we can if we pull out this bottom one here we can pull it the lever should move when it disengages 
and it's not quite enough. Do not disengage it. Just doing a little bit of a turn at a time. And then I've got it there. And then we're going to try and find a tooth on there. That's it now. It's a bit trial and error because I've moved it a bit and it may not, it may be too much. And you can't tell how much, whether it's too much or too little until you do these screws up again and you give it another whirl. I'm going to give it another whirl. This time I've gone too far. Now the, now the lever is hitting the side of the cup, so it's too far. So we need to go back a tooth. So again, we loosen it off. possible the teeth on this are damaged so it's not an easy thing to do. Got that now about the lever is now about two millimeters from the side of the winding cup when it's closed. So I'm going to try that, tighten up the screws again. This reel is, <laughs> I don't think I'm actually going to get it working successfully. It's not a great reel. I'm just showing you how to do it. Let's undo that. This one, it seems to be that the screw Bring it getting caught. I've got it jammed completely. With this reel it would probably need quite a lot of work on the bail arm it's it's not right on the bail arm the bail arm is worn somewhere and not sitting right um, that is how you fix that lever though on the bail arms i'm going to talk about one thing if if you look at this bail arm here you can see that's fairly straight there if you ever get a bail arm where it comes along and then it comes up quite steeply what you will find, and if you buy a reel like it, is the line, instead of coming round to sit into the proper uh, roller, though it doesn't roll very well, it won't get that far. It will sit about an inch or so, two and a half centimetres away, and the line will get wound past that bit of the wire. And that wire is not that hard, so it will cut a groove quite easily through there. And that's not what you want. So the first step is to put the reel together. So we've now got it spinning freely. You need to grease this black cam on the back of the baffle plate. And to do that, something like this, and just smear a little bit of grease along the cam, along the back of it. If this cam is really worn, you've probably got a problem and the black plastic cam can come off 
the metal plate and that's not easy to attach. In an ideal world it'd be possible to get new black cans and replace them. The little lever that is inside the reel, this is what it looks like and this needs to be greased as well so you grease grease all around that this one's not very good it's just a spare the lever will now slide around the cam successfully the next bit is to take the baffle plate don't lose any other shims there's a little tiny slot in the bit in the middle there and there's a tiny little protuberant on the baffle plate and those two need to line up so when we're dropping this in there it will line up like that and that means the hole is more or less in line with the stem of the reel when we put the nut back to hold the baffle plate in place be very careful the nut is very the nut is very shallow there's not much thread on it it's important you don't cross thread it so just be careful to get it to start up to pick up the thread carefully with it and it should go on fairly easily if you cross thread it you've re you've wrecked the reel so that goes on there The next thing is to take the shaft, put that in carefully. You want the hole, the hole in the end of the shaft that comes up on this side. Put that through there until the hole appears there. And we get this little plate and we drop it in so that the pin on the back of this rectangular plate drops into that hole on the shaft so now the shaft is making this go up and down replace the cog with the three special teeth with the teeth downwards so that the three teeth engage with those on the rectangular plate and it's got to mesh onto the teeth in a way that it enables it to keep going round it can't if you get it wrong it will just jam so you just keep trying round a bit until it goes and keeps going like it does now so that keeps going round and round and round and the shaft goes in and out so that's correct now the next bit we've kept the the red plastic bit in there we've kept that in place if it does come out note the way up it is and these gears are prone to falling out normally we'd put some more grease in there just put that on there carefully and we're ready to put the screws back this is a dirty job uh, you get grease and oil everywhere and I'm not really lubricating this reel like I said this reel is not a currently in a condition that it can be made to work properly because the bail arm is too worn there's a serious problem with it at some point so i regard it as a parts reel for the moment Just do up each of the three screws, do them reasonably tight, don't over tighten them, they're screwing into fairly soft metal, you will take the threads off but they do need to be tight and the whole thing needs to be carefully aligned. And now we have a reel that actually goes round. So the bail arm is not great, it does go over, it does come back, but it's sticking all over the place. 
there's something worn in it. I don't know what, but the reel does go round now. A couple of oiling places. One is onto the handle. You can put a bit of oil into the end of the handle there. The handle, this plastic bit here, can be changed. And there's a screw inside the end of the handle there. And you can undo it. It can be quite tight. This one's actually loose. But it should be fairly tight. If you take that out, the handle sits on a pin and you can see the screw there and you can take the plastic off that. Put that back in just line up the screw carefully get it started which isn't always easy put oil onto the a tiny drop onto the spring right there and the, the pivot there and into this end. Once you've done those you need to find something like a dustbin, put the reel in it and spin it really fast and that will flick any excess oil off and then you can use a bit of tissue to clean that off. Good to have these tissues handy. The bail arm has got this roller here, it's not a very good roller but it's important that you make sure that that roller does not have a groove in it. They can groove, they don't revolve very well. To remove it there's a screw here on the end of the bail arm there and you undo that and that will come off. You can see the way the bail arm, the bail arm roller is tapered in a way that the, it's got like a flange and the flange goes against this cantilever part of the bail arm and then it's got a tapered bit that tapers nicely to the main part of the bail arm there and that's important it's the right way around otherwise the flange is going to be in the in the way and it's possible to take that you can say take that off and put it back on again and it needs to be fairly tight if that comes undone uh, you can if you think it's getting worn you can just loosen it up, rotate it a bit and put it back together again. If it gets partly undone while you're fishing you'll find the line getting into the gaps and that will wreck your line. At the other end this particular reel has got uh, this bent wire on it. So there are different sorts, the late, some of the later ones have a different arrangement here so this bail arm is different to the other ones. And that's got a little uh, a little nut. There's a nut there that needs to be undone with a small spanner, which I haven't got anything here to do it. And that will take off. And this chrome part here is a counterweight. And th there's quite a lot of counterweighting inside the reel itself. The other oil port is at the back of the reel. There's this oil port that will come undone. And you can drop some oil in there. This engine oil, which is just the old 2050, is okay. Probably better with gear oil. I do have some gear oil somewhere which is a bit thicker. Or you can run it on, originally they should be run on, on Mitchell grease. I hope I've shown you the basics of, of taking a Mitchell reel apart. The more you start to take the bail arm apart, the more difficult it gets. This one, like I say, has got some problems with it. It's possibly bent somewhere um, it doesn't it's just catching all the time it's getting stuck with the spring there's not a huge amount wrong with it the rest of the reel seems to be okay I don't know how old this one is can't read the number on it the gearbox isn't too bad on it at all so I'm regarding this as a bit of a parts reel 
I've probably taken parts off it and put them onto other reels. It's one of my older ones because I've sawn off the, the um, anti-reverse there with a hacksaw and then just filed down the end that stops it. You can still do it like that. Still do it like that on and off, but it's uh, you can't do it accidentally. Hope this start on uh, servicing a reel helps you. Any questions, just ask. But get the right tools, get the right screwdriver, the right socket set. It's not too difficult. Make sure you don't lose the bits. One or two little uh, lids like this are useful, just for putting screws and bits in. Watch what you're doing, put it back in the right order, and that uh, you should be back to a working reel after not too long.